Hey everybody, this may be TMI for some people, but I must let you in on something about SJ. I love <laughs> pimple popping. I love it. I love it so much that I do it on my own face and I know it's not good because you see I leave marks. Um, if I know you well enough, more so my family, I've probably told you to come here. The majority of you tell me no, but that's okay. It's okay, I try. Actually, when I was younger, my dad used to have me um, like pop the, the bumps on his beard or pull the ingrown hairs out with the tweezers. So I think that's where I got this from. I really do. But um, I can watch those pimple popping videos for hours, like seriously, hours. I can be on YouTube forever just watching this. Um, supposed to be asleep at two and three in the morning just watching and you remember well when I was younger I used to play like the Sega or um, Nintendo and when I'd play Mario go-kart or you know any game that involved movement when I have the remote control like I'd move with them right so I find myself when I'm watching these videos I find myself moving with the the dermatologists or the estheticians um, as they're popping the bumps I just feel like I'm in there oh my god sometimes I want to be in there but listen all right so those are things that I love and because I love it I have this nice size magnifying mirror okay and I love this mirror because it just enables me to see the process right it's so cool to me so <laughs> with that being said today I was using my handy dandy mirror and I was in a different part of my house with nice lighting so I was able to see so much on my face right so I'm going through my face you know just finding different little bumps or whatever and as I'm going through I see some areas on my face that didn't look like they used to no, but I saw like where I was aging. So I was, I zoomed in under my eyes. They didn't look like they used to. No, I, I saw lines. I'm not going to call them wrinkles, lines on my face. And I was like, wow, you are aging. And I'm not tripping. I'm about to be 36 in April and it's all good. But it was just interesting to see that. Now, as I was looking at all of those things, I started to just reflect on my life. And I started to think about a present situation. And as I was thinking about it, I was like, thank you, God. Just thank you, God. And I was just started thanking God about some things that I'm going through in my life. And I mean, truly thanking him so much that I was crying. And the reason that I was thanking God is because I realized if I was in this situation some years ago, it would not have been good. I don't believe the outcome would have been good. Or even if I was in the situation that I was in some years ago, five years prior to that, the outcome would not have been good. So I was just thinking about God's goodness and his timing and how it's so perfect. All right. So I want to read Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse one, and then talk about it. So it says to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. Now, so that season is an appointed occasion. And then after the scripture, it just started talk. It starts talking about a time to live, a time to die, a time to do this, a time to do that. Just all these different things that happen in our lives. But I'm saying all this to say, if you are in something in your life, it's because if God has allowed you to be in a situation, it's because you can get through it and he knows you can get through it don't think oh my god i cannot i know if god has allowed you to be in this situation you can get through it man i'm telling you god you're 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 victorious in christ 
So trust that. Don't don't look at your situation like, oh my God, why I can't. Uh uh-uh. uh. You can and you will. You just have to believe everything that God says, and apply scriptures to whatever whatever area it is that you're going through. You know, um, if if you don't think you can, I can do all things through Christ in this situation. Let that be your your faith scripture. Let that be the the scripture that builds your faith in this situation. But I'm telling you, if you're in it, if God has allowed you to be in it, you're going to get through it. You can get through it. He wouldn't have allowed it if you couldn't, all right? So God bless you tonight. You be encouraged. You know that you know that you are victorious in Christ Jesus. God loves you and he's with you. Have a great night. Bye-bye.